and let the Father dress you. He will put on the armor of God on you as a father would until we learn to put it on ourselves. Amen. That's good. Amen. Good <laughs> well, also, armor means we're ready for battle. Yes. We're ready for victory. Yes. Let me say something about that. She said red, white. It was white with red, and then it was blue. Anytime you see the Lord in sapphire blue, now listen to this. It means you've entered a place with God that you've never entered in before. Amen. Anytime you see sapphire, it's a place. Kevin said that he saw, Kevin said, I said he saw the sapphire blue and the throne. And he started to enter it and he said the Lord would not let him come because it's a place of holiness. But she was in reference to the flag, red, white, and blue, when she saw it. But sapphire blue is a very, very deep blue. It's almost the color on our flag. Yes, and it also means that maybe this nation is about to enter into a place of change that has never entered into before. I mean, you're going to see deeper here in these colors and what God is doing. Um, because everything means something. When you saw 3 o'clock, now I thought it, that could be a timing on something. Could be it. Because when you said fish, I thought it was a big fish that God's about to catch. Someone we never expected. Someone that we didn't think would come into the kingdom. That's what, anybody else think that? Yeah, yeah I think there's, there's someone, because he said he was looking at the bigger fish. Bigger fish. You heard know that the story, there's bigger fish to fry. There's bigger things to do. That's what we're talking about here today in the spirit realm. I don't want you to get bored over this. I want you to come to a place where you want so much of God there's a desperation in your spirit. Amen. I don't mean where you're confused or anything. I'm not saying that. You've got to be desperate for God because God will hide himself. God is everywhere. He says his presence is everywhere. But he will hide himself. And different preachers are preaching on this now. To see if you will seek until you find him. Mm -hmm. The scripture says when you search for him with all of your heart. You will find it. There won't be any areas that are searching for something else. Everything is on the pursuit for what God wants. And, and the church has got to come to that place where it's baptized into the presence, the power, and the love of God that it's never experienced before to release the glory that he wants to release in the earth. These are new days and new times. Those are wonderful visions. Awesome visions. Awesome. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you spoke of the gold, I saw the sea of glass. You saw the sea of glass? Yes. All oh, things will become transparent. The gold, the transparent gold. And then right before we prayed for Israel, I saw a tap. You saw what? A tap. And the tap was opened up and the liquid gold was pouring out. Pouring out on Israel? On us. On us. Thank you. Oh, because we were, yes, they shall prosper that love her. Amen. That's a beautiful vision. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the enemy didn't want us to go any deeper than what we were in. But these, these are moments of eternity where God wants you to see what your prayers are doing, what your singing is doing, what your rejoicing is doing. Have we got that? What your rejoicing is doing. See, look what the, we sing that song. Look what the Lord has done. We sang that song until we thought we'd wear it out. Well, what is he doing? What is he saying? What, what has he done this week? Are we hearing from him? Are we experiencing him? I just sit in the chair and just talk to him. And I wait and wait and wait. I don't care how long it takes. I wait. I let the dishes pile up in the sink. I wash them in a day. But I mean, I, I don't get, catch myself being busy. I want to occupy in him. I want to know what his thoughts are. And she said she saw him looking over. Was that what the word was? Looking over at the big fish? He was looking over at the big fish. Yeah, he was, uh, yeah there's a bigger thing. Big fish, and he was like this. Oh, wow. and the fish was huge. And it was kind of, there was like gold, gold kind of around it. It was gold. A gold? Like a, just a gold hue. For gold look to glory. it? Wow. I would say it's glory. glory. Oh, yeah, it was big. Well, we listen, we're not whistling Dixie here. We're just not spending time saying things. God wants deposits made. Amen. That when you hear revelation in the church, you can move on it because that's how he builds the church. How many are hearing? How many want to hear the voice of the Lord? Want to ask you this? Yes. Yes. Come on. 
the voice of the Lord, if we don't hear it, we won't have full direction. Mm -hmm. And we won't know what our we won't know how to move in God. Did you know that? We've got to hear the voice of the Lord. It would be horrible to be married to a woman or a man and they never spoke to each other for ten years. <laughs> yeah. Some of you wish they wouldn't, but anyway. <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be a good relationship. So get real still and say, Lord, I'm waiting. And if you have to do it every day, Lord, I, I, want, I want to hear your voice. I want to hear some direction. I want to know what your thoughts. Even if you have to correct me, I want to hear your voice. Because it will change. When God speaks his word, he said his word is like a sword. It comes out of his mouth. And it begins to put things in order. Let him speak to you. Let him show you some things of what he wants to do. I believe he's getting ready to move in this country in an awesome way. Yes. And the Lord told Perry Stone that when the left did what they did and brought their plan out, they set a table for their own doings. In other words, it's not going to be nice what's going to happen. It's not. But God does things that it doesn't hurt everybody. God does things in order. And he does things uh, to where he gets what he wants. But no one can respond. How many know what I'm talking about? You know this is God and God is working. And God is going to take care of us. He's going to take care of the church. We wouldn't be very good parents and had children and wouldn't take care of them. But you can be sure. And I'm telling you, if you don't hear anything else I say today. God is getting ready to honor the church. I don't mean we're looking for this or that. You know, I'm not looking for blue ribbons or ignition. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that God's going to show you your prayers, your fastings, and your sacrifices that are going to pay off in a tremendous way. How many know what I'm talking about? They are. I've seen it. I can't tell you some of the stories, the miracles that God has done for me. The awesome things that God has done for me, I cannot tell them because, for one thing, it makes some people jealous. I know, I've seen it happen. The Lord told me that one day. He said it will make, he, the Lord spoke to me these words. This is what he said. I'm going to, the Lord told me this over 25 years ago, believe it or not. He said, I'm going to do things for you that's going to make others jealous. I thought, would God talk like that? I live to hear a person say this about me. This is what they said. She gets everything. They said it in a jealous way. It was God not giving it to me for me to have it. He was giving it to me to watch over the church with it. You understand? And the church is not actually living to that place where they're receiving everything from God that he wants them to have because they go after other things that takes place of it. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, here's what I found out with the Lord. If I got it, okay. If I didn't, I didn't pressure him, and I didn't go after it myself, and I didn't spend my money on it, and I didn't sacrifice to get it. You understand? I waited until God gave it to me. Then I knew it was eternal things that he was doing. Amen? Amen. 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 Don't get mad at me, please. Take it up with God. God has taken good care of me. I don't know what it's like to make a car payment. I hardly know what it's like to make a house payment. I hardly know what it's like to buy clothes. I let the Lord bless me. I eat out more times than most people till I don't want to go out and eat anymore. I'm, deep, I'm being honest with you. The Lord has blessed me in that measure to have more than enough. More than enough. How many are listening to what I'm saying to you? Yeah. More than enough. I've given away at least five or seven cars. I've given away a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar home, paid for, paid for. I liked it. I worked for it. I sacrificed for it. When I say I worked, I mean I labored before the Lord, and the Lord let me enjoy it for a season. He said, "All right, I'm moving you somewhere else. You move with the cloud." And the blessings of the Lord will be with you on every side. You'll have more than enough. Amen? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Amen. So much so that you'll say to the Lord, I don't want any more. 
I'm being very honest with you. I don't, I've said to the Lord, Lord, I don't want to bring any more stuff in my house. I got it everywhere. It's on shelves. It's on tables. It's on my bar. I got it in my washer and in my dryer and under my bed. I got so much stuff. And I can't give it to someone away because it might be, I might give it to somebody that knows somebody that gave it to me. And I'm not giving it to the goodwill. I'm just telling you how blessed I've been with the Lord. How many want to be blessed? You can go. You don't have to stay. Everybody can go. Put your hands up. God's about ready to open the heavens. Yeah. You might as well be the one that receives. Yes. I actually heard somebody stand and say, she gets everything. God's put things in my hands that I was able to go to Washington, D.C. and decorate a house for an advisor to the prime minister of Israel. I didn't look for that. I didn't even want it. Do you understand? I didn't even want it. And somebody just asked me, do you know where I can get some furniture from? I said, yeah. I got something. God had spoken to a lady and said, I want you to take this furniture to Ruth Carnell and not to give it to anybody else. Never told me anything else, and I kept it. And this man comes from Israel, the advisor to the prime minister, and they need furniture. It was dishes and all. See how God works? Amen. You think, well, what's that? Oh, honey, that's important. This was important on God's schedule. Amen? Amen? And so, listen, he wants to take you places. He wants to give you things. He was to give you honor, but more than that, he was to show you favor. Yes. Find yes. favor of the Lord. Yes. Those other visions that we saw, you can't make these things up. Maybe some of you have another revelation on the fish. But I can tell you, the sapphire blue means the holiness of the Lord came into the service. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's an awesome thing. The holiness. Of the Lord. There's a song we used to sing. Let the holiness of God be upon me, I pray. Let the holiness of God be within me today. Let the holiness of God so permeate me that body, mind, and soul might magnify thee.